Hello and welcome to the second broadcast of Black Helicopter Radio. I'm Ed Walker. I did the first show uh, for y'all. And uh, today is the second show. I'm going to be focusing um, pretty much mostly just on the m social manipulation propaganda. Um, I have the book uh, Propaganda by Edward Bernays, which any conspiracy theorist, uh, I, you, I can't tell you enough, you've got to read this. I mean, it's crazy. He talks about manipulating whole uh, whole cultures, whole societies, and he, d he always refers to uh, the social engineers as the invisible government. And it's like a conspiracy theorist gold mine in that book. So all of you should read it. I'm going to be uh, reading lots of quotes from it. Um, and this is just to point out to people that a lot of your ideas aren't your own. Uh, these are things that have been put into you since birth. And uh, a lot of people are just being played so well. Um, they don't even realize it. You know, you talk to your average uh, mainstream person and they have different ideas on different things and, uh, it, you know, they wouldn't admit this This came from some uh, behind-the-scenes ruling elite. They'd probably think, oh, well, I uh, came to these conclusions on my own. Uh, the TV and the public education certainly had nothing to do with it. I am my own uh, free uh, human being and I uh, have the right to believe what I want, you know. They, the people, they rarely ever uh, will admit that they're just being manipulated by the, the social engineers. Like all of us are. I mean, only way you could totally avoid it is like with your ears plugged living in a cave. Even if you go out into public, you'll see billboards. Uh, at your workplace, you talk to people who have all been totally indoctrinated. Uh, your family, most likely, you know. I don't know about you guys, but uh, yeah, my family, uh, they pretty much buy into a lot of the mainstream uh, BS and I don't I don't fault them for it. It's just that they've been conditioned for it since the day they were born, and uh, man, it can be hard to really uh, break people out of that that spell. But one way to do it is show that these people talk about it in their in their writings. How yeah, I mean they're manipulating us. They say it's for our own good. Like uh, Vernays, he basically says if we if they didn't use this we would just be in total chaos like animals like they they need this to kind of tame the human beast all right so uh Bernays was a scumbag he was related to uh Sigmund Freud another total scumbag new world order uh puppet you know i mean these people they uh they they want to dominate and rule the human mind the human spirit so with that being said i will begin uh to lay out Edward Bernays hellish plan and the uh, massive public relations uh, that he created. Okay, so to start out, I'm just going to talk about actually who Edward Bernays was. Um, a lot of you are probably thinking, who's Edward Bernays? Well, he's probably one of the most influential people you've never heard about. All right, uh, he was a, his name's Edward Louis Bernays. He was born on November 22nd, 1891. Oh wow, he lived a really long time. Um, he died on March 9th, 1995. And uh, he was an American pioneer in the field of public relations and propaganda, along with Ivy Lee, uh, referred to in his obituary as the father of public relations, combining the ideas of Gustave Le Bon and Wilfred Trotter on crowd psychology and the psychoanalytical ideas of his uncle, Dr. Sigmund Freud. Bernays was one of the first to attempt to manipulate public opinion using the subconscious. Wow. It's, it's right here. I mean, this is, a, you know, Wikipedia. And I know Wikipedia is not the best source, but it's just, it's easy. I mean, it's just put in a summary. This is, these are all facts. This is just the basics of them. You know, they'll probably put their own propaganda spin on it since it's by Google. But regardless, uh, next paragraph, he felt this manipulation was necessary in society which he re regarded as irrational and dangerous as a result of the herd instinct that Trotter had described. Adam Curtis's award-winning 2002 documentary for BBC, The Century of the Self, pinpoints Bernays as the originator of modern public relations, and Bernays was named uh, one of the 100 most influential Americans of the 20th century by Life magazine. So, most people have probably heard of Sigmund Freud, but how many people have heard of Bernays? You know, I'm sure there's still a large number, but compared to Sigmund Freud, uh, not nearly as many. And I don't think that's by mistake. I mean, he was, this guy was working behind the scenes to uh, manipulate and brainwash you. 
All right, so then it goes in, you know, kind of his biography, which isn't too interesting, but um, I guess he was born in uh, Vienna, but they moved to New York. Um, yeah, and it just talks about how he's related to Sigmund Freud. And, um, oh, this is kind of important. It, it talks about how uh, he witnessed the propaganda and mass media, media that was uh, involved, you know, in the um, anti-German sentiment in Britain uh, prior to World War One, and he, and um, actually also saw it from you know the other side from the the Nazis, and so he had a pr really good view of propaganda, you know wartime propaganda. So what he he took some of the stuff they used to manipulate people with wartime propaganda, but then used it for uh, big business and you know big government for more than just war. For I mean really to uh, control and manipulate people, you know, to turn people into just mindless consumers. So, uh, yeah, this guy is uh, a big, massive player in the situation we are today. So, you know, a big part of what this guy did, we can thank him for us being the materialistic consumer uh, dumbed-down zombies. You know, thank you, Bernays. Yeah, let's give him a round of applause, scumbag. And, you know, you may, may seem a little harsh for me to call this guy a scumbag, but if you watch that documentary they mentioned, A Century of the Self, which I would recommend all of you watch, it's great. Because um, when you use that information with the uh, knowledge of the New World Order, uh, you know, social engineers, Illuminati system, it all fits together so well. But anyways, uh, they talk about in that documentary, I mean, that guy was a scumbag. He viewed all humans as just dumb trash and, you know, that we needed to be um, manipulated like like a bunch of like rats in a you know like lab rats because we have this dangerous herd instinct that if they don't you know dumb us down and make us tame and docile who knows maybe we'll actually uh, have liberty and have freedom for ourselves god forbid that ever happens all right so now we actually talk about his um book it actually was titled propaganda that's the actual title um here's a a very great i mean this is like a summary of the whole book it gets much more specific but I'll just read this to you. Okay, this is from uh, Edward Bernays' book *Propaganda*, uh, made in 1928. Okay, the conscious and intelligent manipulation of the organized habits and opinions of the masses is an important element in democratic society. Those who manipulate the unseen mechanism of society constitute an invisible government, which is the true ruling power of our country. We are governed, our minds are molded, our tastes formed, our ideas suggested, largely by men we have never heard of. This is a logical result of the way in which our democratic society is organized. Vast numbers of human beings must cooperate in this manner if they are to live together as a smoothly functioning society. In almost every act of our daily lives, whether in the sphere of politics or business, in our social conduct or our ethical thinking, we are dominated by the relatively small number of persons who understand the mental processes and social patterns of the masses. It is they who pull the wires which control the public mind. Hmm. This doesn't sound uh, like the uh, shadow government New World Order, does it? I mean, this is amazing. <laughs> I just can't, it just drives me crazy. We have quotes like this from, from the elite, and people still can't wake up. I mean, he, he is printing out the social engineers and it's just a few sentences but look at how look how huge the implications of this are so first he starts talking about conscious and intelligent manipulation I mean he uses the word manipulation he's not playing games here it's <laughs> you know they, they put this out and they just know people aren't gonna read it because they're too busy uh, you know learning about some celebrity or you know uh, worrying about money you know all sorts of distractions but you know this is why uh, we in the conspiracy movement really dig down deep and figure out why the world is the way it is. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't understand how he says um, manipulating people from behind the scenes, so, you know, manipulating people without them even realizing it is an important element in a democratic society. I don't understand the logic of that. Um, I mean, I, I guess if I read further into the, I haven't read the whole book, I've just uh, been finding the key passages of it, but, uh, yeah, I'm sure he probably tries to explain that, but obviously this guy has a sick, uh, sense of logic, 
And then the next line, those who uh, manipulate this unseen mechanism of society constitute an invisible government, which is the true ruling power of our country. Thank you, Bernays. I couldn't have said it any better myself. Yep. Yeah, the uh, the real people who uh, control this world are far beyond the scenes. Or, you know, they we don't vote them in. These are <laughs> the social engineers. You know, d regardless of what party it is, they stay in power. And, man, they're doing a great job of it. Uh, let's see, the next line. We are governed, our minds are molded, our tastes formed, our ideas suggested, largely by men we have never heard of. Man. So, yeah, it's just saying everything, you know, our desires, our our tastes formed, you know, uh, what people are into, our ideas suggested. Just like I mentioned earlier, people have no idea that a lot of their ideas come from someone else. You know, they think they articulated this through reasoning and critical thinking. Uh, far from it, actually. All right, this is a logical result of the way in which our democratic society is organized. Uh, there he goes again with the democratic society through manipulation of an invisible government. Yeah, it sounds pretty democratic to me. Uh, vast numbers of human beings must cooperate in this manner if they are to live together as a smoothly functioning society. Oh! Oh, okay, so we need you guys to, you know, make sure it's a smoothly functioning society. So we need to be manipulated and controlled and uh, be trained like dogs by you disgusting elites So for a smoothly functioning society. Well, it's only smoothly functioning for the New World Order puppets and has nothing to do with the general populace. So when they say smoothly functioning society, they mean a society that is obsessed with material things, is obsessed with fame, is a, a you know, just materialistic, dumbed down, docile society. That's a smoothly functioning society to them. Not a society of free men and women who um, grow their own food and cooperate with each other and have limited government. You know, that's far from smoothly functioning. That's that's bad to them. That's the last thing they'd want. All right, let's see. In almost every act of our daily lives, whether in the sphere of politics or business, in our social conduct or our ethical thinking, we are dominated by the relatively small number of persons who understand the mental processes and social patterns of the masses. So, uh, I mean, I said this in the last broadcast, these people understand the mental processes and social patterns of the masses. They study human behavior, I mean, the smallest things they, they know how we work. These are extremely intelligent people. These are not, you know, obviously these are not stupid people. So they depend on people being stupid to not find out what they're doing. But I mean, that seems to be changing. It seems like a lot of people are are learning this stuff. Um, and then the last one, it is they who pull the wires which control the public mind. You got it, Eddie, Eddie Edward Bernays. Hey, I guess I'm Ed Walker, so I can't make fun of his name. <laughs> All right, all right. So in the next clip, you're actually going to hear it from the horse's mouth. Uh, good old Eddie Bernays uh, talking about what uh, public relations is. Um, and yeah, here it is. When I came back to the United States, I decided that if you could use propaganda for war, you could certainly use it for peace. And propaganda got to be a bad word because of the Germans using it. So what I did was to try to find some other words. So we found the word Council on Public Relations. See, the social engineers know if there's ever a word and ends up getting a negative connotation for whatever reason, in this case it would be like World War II and the Germans u using it. refers to uh, the social engineers as the invisible government. I mean, it's like a conspiracy theorist gold mine in that book. So all of you should read it. I'm going to be uh, reading lots of quotes from it. Um, and this is just to point out to people that a lot of your ideas aren't your own. Uh, these are
welcome to the second broadcast of Black Helicopter Radio. I'm Ed Walker. I did the first show uh, for y'all. And uh, today's the second show. I'm going to be focusing um, pretty much mostly just on the ma social manipulation propaganda. Uh, I have the book uh, Propaganda by Edward Bernays, which any conspiracy theorist, uh, I, you, I can't tell you enough, you've got to read this. I mean, it's crazy. He talks about manipulating whole uh whole cultures whole societies and he he